Today, we're taking one of our favorite breakfast cooks to the next level. We're making the aptly named stuffed French toast. You wanna to see how we do it on the Pit Boss Sierra Griddle? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here in the backyard diner. And today we are making stuffed, stuffed French toast. toast. And see, I, I got so excited with the wind up. That's how excited I am about this cook. That's right. Uh, and this one, listen, I did a lot of research. This has been heavily requested on the channel. Yep. I've had it on a request list for probably over a year mm -hmm. easy. Probably since one of the last times we did French toast. We've done it a couple times. We did it Christmas time. Right, and even before that. So I've been wanting to do this, did a ton of different research and saw one that was very close to the way that I wanted to do it with this cream cheese and this yes. strawberry filling. Yes. And so Brett, go ahead and get to the groceries and I'll explain a quick process that we did, something little that we did to the strawberries before I get to the process of how I do the French toast. So as you can see, we are using this nature's own perfectly crafted thick sliced brioche style bread. We absolutely love this stuff. And then we've got the eggs, brown sugar, powdered sugar, and the process again with these uh, strawberries, Adam will explain during the cook. Philadelphia cream cheese, whipped cream cheese, butter, milk, vanilla, syrup, and you're gonna see the process as we get these cooked and stuffed, and then we're gonna stuff our faces. He mentioned the whipped cream cheese, but not the whipped cream. cream that's right. That we will whipped be using. Cream. The Freddy Whip. The Freddy Whip. Freddy, <laughs> Freddy Whip. Now I will explain the strawberries here in just a second, but also how I do the dredge for my French toast. I've always used a little bit of regular sugar. Someone recommended brown sugar, so I'm doing it this time. Why not? The vanilla is a huge hit, and now we do get called out every time we do this without Out cinnamon. cinnamon. I was gonna say, we're gonna address this right now. Our family typically doesn't care for cinnamon a whole lot. I know a lot of people love it. If you do, fantastic. I, I like it for sweet dishes. I'm not a fan in like, Right. Chilies, things right. like that. But. And even in this, I don't mind, but to me, I haven't missed it when we ha when I've made it. And my, my personal recipe doesn't call for cinnamon, so we don't use cinnamon. Here we go. All right, so really quick, the strawberry process. This is one thing I actually learned from my mother-in-law. Uh, all we do is we take these strawberries and we cut them down really into these little, uh, we can do them in slices. We did a little bit smaller than that. Almost we want a, a dice. Right, we almost, yeah, more like a dice on that. And then we just drizzle a little bit of sugar. I know there's no secret to this, but we pour sugar over it and really make this super, super sweet. So we're gonna put the strawberries both inside and top outside. So I'm excited to do this process. So first, let's go ahead and let's, uh, prep the dredge. Here let's we go. go. All right, so this is really simple. Get the powdered sugar bread <laughs> dumped in there by messing with the powdered sugar. We're gonna go ahead and crack three eggs. And you can use as many eggs as you want. We wanna do a couple of these. We'll just do one for the demonstration, but Cannon has expressed a, a ton of interest in having one of these stuffed yes. French toast. So uh, we're doing three eggs for now, and we can always up this for our dredge as well. Uh, we could do the whole loaf of brioche if we wanted to. So just kind of mix that up. We're gonna to toss some milk in there with any that. salt and pepper, no? No, some people do use a little bit of a pinch of salt. This is one thing that I have not done. I actually have done it before, but I'm not gonna do it today. And next we're gonna add some milk. And I wouldn't add all that. I would say about half of that or two thirds of that. There you go, that's plenty. Then we're gonna do a touch of, this is about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then next, just a pinch of that. I would say a pinch of that. We're not gonna use all of that yet. Just get a good skosh, maybe a little skosh more. Listen, you can't add too much sweet, right? All right, so Brett's gonna mix that up, get it good and mixed. All right, so while Brett's finishing that dredge up, here is what we're going to do. Oh, that's right. It's you funny, we've talked about doing this, and this is one of those things because this is somewhat new to us. He's over there ready to be putting down some French toast. And I'm like, but wait, bro. We gotta stuff we gotta the stuff. Sammies. So this is why we use the whipped, because this whipped just spreads so nice. Put extra on for me, bro. Oh, trust me. Oh, we're dual siding this. So you can do this and build this and stuff this however you want. So I'm gonna. Yep. So we're gonna do you know both what that looks sides. Like? Fluff, marshmallow <laughs> fluff. Marshmallow <laughs> fluff, it does. <laughs> that would be another good stuffed French toast. Oh, man. Marshmallow fluff. Oh man. And a oh, fluffer, fluffer nutter. nutter. <gasps> stuffed French Coming toast soon fluff to the wall nutter. Twins oh my channel. gosh. That's called next level amazingness. Fluffer okay, nutter, and I'm not gonna lie, I got a good schmear on here, as they'd say right, in the delis. Schmear. As they'd say in the deli. So these strawberries, they do smell like happiness. This smells so good. So we're just gonna do this as our filling. Oh my goodness. Now I gotta kinda be careful, because the thing is, is this thing's gotta hold together. I may have done that too uh, big yeah, there. I, I think I can handle the dredge, dude. I think I'm good, squish it. So there I am, go. I'm gonna press this. 
because that is what we call a full, like you can see it bulging there in the middle. That is a full sandwich. Now, I'll be honest, I did not intend to get it that full, but my, my eyes were too big for my tummy, hey, apparently. Adam, we're eating with our eyes today. All right, apparently. so we're gonna go ahead and set the second angle so Brett can get the dredge. All right, so we do have our burner set. Just this one right here is turned to low. The other two are off because we're only using one section for this as the sun decides to yeah, show up for the first time today. It is time to dredge. Let me bring this up just a smidge. We're gonna cook it right there. It's been on for a good 10 minutes now, so that thing is nice and toasty. All right, here you go, Brett. Time to dredge. <laughs> the Sammy, are you ready? Yes, sir. You wanna get a good coat all the way around. Let it soak in just a little bit. This thing doesn't need to be soaked to the bone. Correct. And while Brett's doing that, we're gonna add what we like to call a little more butter. And I don't know why I always have to say we like what to call. What we call in the business like the, more. <laughs> in the business. All right, there we go. You got right. both sides. Yep, and it's ready to go on. You All ready? right, yep, he's gonna toss that on and then I will finish the cook. Here we go. There we'll you go, scrape off there. the e extra usually, but that's okay. And there we go. So the good thing is, is, well, we got some super thick brioche bread. You really can use any type of bread you want for this. Sure. We've just found this works really, really well. It's our favorite, it's got a hint, uh, some sweet notes to it. And that's it, we're just gonna sit and wait and watch this cook. So what makes this so unique and so great, these stuffed French toast, is you get a nice toastiness like the French toast you would normally, but the inside you get some hot and melty cream cheese with that, those enhanced sweet strawberries. All right, it's been about, what, two minutes? Two, Probably. maybe three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip, flip it on it over. It up. Look at that. All right, so at this point, we're gonna just let this finish cooking through, give another minute. We've got a lot of good B-roll footage to film. So we're gonna go ahead and get on that. Ken and Brett, you guys ready for some B-roll? More than ready, born ready, hip hop ready, Let's ready, do roll. it. Uh, well, there it is in all its glory. You know you have in your mind exactly how you want it to go, like yeah. putting all the stuff on. Then you forget you're mixing liquids with powdered sugar and it's all just gonna <laughs> turn into a big uh, wet mess. It there. looks amazing It no, does, dude. and I wanna dig in while it's still warm inside. Yes. So without further ado, we'll talk about it after, Brett, but like we say, it can look amazing. I just said that. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. <laughs> this is the people's breakfast. If this doesn't taste amazing, <laughs> this is all <laughs> for not. Nah. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Oh man. French toast, no Adam, other way ever. This doesn't taste like breakfast, this tastes like dessert, This is dessert. Bro. This is amazing. It's like a cream, uh, a cheesecake meets breakfast because you got the cream cheese in there. The strawberry is obviously a delicious treat. Oh, so good. And that maple syrup, so good in there. Yes, it is. I'm gonna take one more and put it down. I know. This is just turning into a big mess on here and I'm okay with it. Mm. You gotta try this. Mm. You absolutely gotta try it, man. It's a banger. I went to set it down and had to have one more bite. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll, I'll set it down. <laughs> I need more. I really do. Right. That uh, turned out exactly like I hoped. I mean, honestly, this is one of those better, like Better than I thought. And well, I you thought, thought it was going to be good already. But I had been telling Brett, I'm like, I think this is going to be one of those surprise of the weekends when you taste it because I already figured I knew what it was going to taste like. And it turned out to be exactly what I hoped it would be. Yes. Spectacular. The strawberries were perfect. Thank you to my wife, Jen, for helping me with that process. And to our mother-in-law who taught us the process. I know that's very common for some people. I had never thought of that before. That's how she does a strawberry shortcake. Maggie. Absolutely. 
absolutely Shout loved out it. To you. Maggie, we absolutely love it. This was so good. And I won't do French toast another way, nope. right? Brett, we could keep talking about this. Nah, let's Or we on. could yeah. say if, if this did help you with another idea, something you could do for breakfast or dessert. Or both. Yes, Brezert. Brezert. Or Destest. Make sure and give us a th <laughs> Make sure and give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which it is one way in which you can support the channel and what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions and works closely with Crossroads Missions. And Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their amazing service work. And Brett, yep. we do have a Patreon page. Yes, shout out to our Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like more information on Patreon and how you can support us that way, that is posted down below as well. Right, this was so amazing. I'm happy we came into this one. Oh, me too. Absolute uh, banger. Right. We love our Patreons. Thank you guys so much for the love and support you give us. And everybody for being here watching. Thank you so much. Brett, aside from coming to make this banger. Banger. This absolute breakfast banger. Yes. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on! on.